Hi, I'm Kara McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today's Wednesday, that's when we talk about spiritual health. And today I have a little story to share that just really touched me. It's called Don't We All? And of course, author unknown, so I can't give credit. It's a story a man is telling. Um, he is parked in front of the wall, mall, <laughs> the wall, the mall, waiting for his wife to get off work. He's just got, come from the um, car wash and he's washing down or wiping down his car and he sees this guy coming across the parking lot and he describes him he says um what society would consider a bum from the looks of him he had no car no home no clean co clothes and no money there are times when you feel generous and there are times you just don't want to be bothered and that was me that day he says i hope he doesn't ask me for money i thought he didn't. He just comes and sits in, in, on the curb in front of the bus stop, even though he doesn't look like he has enough money for the bus stop or for the bus. Can't talk today. But after a few minutes, he speaks up and says, that's a very pretty car. And the man says, you know, he was ragged, but he had this air of dignity about him. And the man says, oh, thanks, and continues wiping off his car. So the man sits there quietly as the guy wipes off his car and the expected plea for money never comes. And so the silence just kind of stretches and stretches. And inside the man's head, he hears, you need to ask him if he, if he needs any help. And he's like, well, I don't really want to do that, but okay, I know to respond to those inner promptings. So he asks him, do you need any help? And I've got to read this part. He answered in three simple but profound words that I shall never forget. We often look for wisdom in great men and women and expect it from those of higher learning and accomplishments. I expected nothing but an outstretched grimy hand, but he spoke three words that shook me. Don't we all, he said. Do you need any help? Don't we all? I was feeling high and mighty, successful and important above a bum in the street until those three words hit me like a 12-gauge shotgun. Don't we all? I did need help. Maybe not for bus fare or a place to sleep, but I needed help. I reached in my wallet and gave him not only enough for bus fare, but enough for a hot meal and a night's lodging. Those three little words still ring true. No matter how much you have, no matter how much you have accomplished, you need help too. No matter how little you have, how loaded you are with problems, even without money or a place to sleep, you can give help. Even if it's just a compliment, you can give that. You never know when you may see someone who appears to have it all, but they need something. And they're, it's like they're waiting on you to give them what you don't have, what they don't have. A different perspective on life, a glimpse at something beautiful, a respite from daily chaos that only you can see. Maybe the man was just a homeless stranger wandering the streets, but maybe he was more than that. Maybe he was sent by a power that is great and wise to minister to a soul too comfortable in themselves. Maybe God looked down, called an angel, dressed him like a bum, and said, go minister to that guy cleaning the car. He needs help. Don't we all? Wow. It reminds me of Hebrews 13.2, where it talks about that we should not um, neglect to show hospitality to strangers, because by doing so, many people have inadvertently entertained angels. You know, God sometimes sends angels to... Um, give us an opportunity to minister. And I remember, oh, it was a long, long time ago. I can't remember. I think it was at my brother's wedding reception, which was in the basement of a church. And we had a gentleman show up towards the end of the reception. And he was asking, he had a handout, you know, he wanted a handout. And I remember people kind of brushing him off. And I just, I couldn't do it. And I said, you know, let me, let me go down and see what I can find. And I went down and I made a, a big tray or a plate or something of food for him and took it back up to him. And he was so grateful. And afterwards, I was telling someone and, and they said, you know, because I remember people saying, where does he come from? There's not even a car out there that doesn't belong to anybody. So where did he come from? And the, this person said, you know, maybe, maybe you were entertaining an angel. And it was just a test to see if you were going to be hospitable. Is that the word? <laughs> anyway, so just something to think about. You know, we never know where an opportunity to minister comes comes from or will come. And we also never know exactly who it is we're ministering to at sometimes. Um, and like this person said, sometimes we may not have a lot money-wise to give, but we have time. And I know there were times in my life I didn't have a ton of extra time. 
but sometimes all it takes is just running across someone at the grocery store who's having a bad day and you just stop and tell them they look great or hey it's so good to see you give them a hug you know that can mean a world of difference to someone who's hurting so just a thought and i will talk to you on friday for crafting see you soon have a great one